What's up guys, this is James White with Freak Interviews bringing you as seen on TV product gadget reviews and more. Now today I've got my most requested classic as seen on TV product to check out and that is the ShamWow. That's why we all know it, all remember the commercials. I've never really done a proper review of this so today I'm checking out the ShamWow and as seen on TV classic. All right, so the ShamWow has been around for a long time. There's a lot of videos already out there for it, but I still wanted to go through it and see what I think about the product. Now, I had one years ago. I don't really remember putting it through the ringer as far as comparing to the advertising goes, which is what I do now, so it'll be fun to see how it lives up. Now, everyone knows that famous commercial with Vince Offer, and some people have tried to duplicate the advertising, but I don't think all of them have done it properly, so I'm gonna do my best. And I'm also gonna bring in the nano towels and see how those compare as well. We got a lot to do, so let's get right to it. All right, I paid about 25 bucks for an eight pack. That's four large and four small. The larges are quite large. I mean, that's pretty big. This is the size of the small. In comparison, this is the nano towel. They're about the same size. The small one is even larger than the nano towel. So the first thing I wanna do is try out the absorbency test because that seems to be the one that is the most touted. So. Let me see how absorbent these things really are as compared to the nano towels. Now the commercial says that these hold 20 times their weight in water, but it's so light, I don't really have a scale that's accurate enough, I don't think, to really be able to scientifically prove that, but I'm just gonna see how much water it holds. So I'm not just completely drenching it and it's dripping everywhere, I'm gonna put it in some at a time and keep adding it until I think it's about full. First up, one cup of water. Actually, this shape is not good. I'm gonna try something a little bit larger. There's one cup of water in there. Oh, wow, it just completely absorbed it up. Whoa, look, completely gone. Let's add another cup. Let me show you what I saw, because I was it happened so fast, I wasn't even really prepared for that. Okay, you can see the water in there. Now watch the water, it's just disappearing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now we've got two cups of water in here. It feels pretty saturated. I don't know if it's gonna go much more than that. I, there's some dry here though. Let's see if I can get a third cup in here. I'm gonna turn it around so the dry parts are on the outside. Okay, got the dry parts more on the bottom now. See if I can go for the third cup. That'd be pretty impressive. It is absorbing, but it's going slower. I think it might actually get that third cup. It's close. Well, it's okay, it's starting to drip now, but I think it pretty much got the third cup picked up, but it's not able to hold it all because it's starting to drip. But I, that's a lot of water. The two cups easy, the third cup was a little bit iffy. And it rings out really nicely. I mean, one ring and it seems like it's pretty good. Now let me compare with the smaller ShamWow and see how much it holds. I'm gonna start off with one cup. Now the smaller ShamWow is a much thinner, so I don't think it's gonna hold nearly as much. Yeah, it's not even holding a cup. So the smaller one certainly isn't as absorbent, and the larger one is much thicker. Hold, I would say, at least two and a half cups before it starts dripping out. Uh, that's, not, that's not too impressive, I don't think, for the small one. Let's try one cup and a nano towel and see how it compares. Obviously it's not gonna compare with the large one because the large one's so much bigger. Let's see if it compares with the smaller one. Okay, well it's taking longer, I can tell already. But I, I, I see it absorbing, there it goes. There goes the liquid. Oh, it held one cup and there's still an entire dry side. Let's add another cup. Okay, I'm gonna lay the dry side down and see if it picks up another cup of water. There it goes. This would be impressive because this is much smaller than the, the large ShamWow. Oh, it's starting to drip, I would say not quite two cups. Not scientific, but a good example of how absorbent all three of these are. What's next? 
All right, in this next segment, I wanted to try out a damp ShamWow and a dry ShamWow because the instructions deal with spills for carpet, but doesn't really address spills on hard surfaces, although the demonstrations all seem to be used on hard surfaces. So here's how the ShamWow damp versus the ShamWow dry does, picking up a spill on a hard surface. For the damp version test, half a cup of water, I can see the water going into the ShamWow. So, I mean, it, it absorbed pretty well. It's not 100% dry, but it's pretty close. Now half a cup of water with the dry one. Let's fold it a couple times. Well, I think the dry one is actually, it's not as wet. So really in the wet versus dry comparison, I don't see a huge difference. It seemed like it got slightly drier from the dry one. One thing I noticed is a lot of the comments for older ShamWow videos say you're not doing it right, you're supposed to use a damp one. Well, they really seem to vary where you're using it damp or dry. For household uses, it says use wet or dry. For automotive uses, it says to use damp, but if you can't get all the streaks out, to use a dry one. For carpet stains, it also says use damp. So it seems like the uses vary depending on what you're trying to do. I think as far as spills go, the instructions don't really talk about spills specifically that it worked pretty much in both cases. So I've primarily looked at three videos when I was preparing for the ShamWow review. Number one is the actual commercial with Vince Offer. Number two is a video called ShamWow in Person where you have a guy who's actually demonstrating the product. Now he has an agenda to sell them, so you have to take that with a little bit of a grain of salt. And number three is some news channel, channel three, where they did a ShamWow review and they completely butchered it. First of all, the guy's using a small ShamWow, which isn't supposed to be for spills, on the floor. Second of all, he's using this one, which is the wrong one to begin with, scrubbing it. You're not even supposed to scrub it, you're supposed to pat it. And also, it clearly says the instructions for carpet, you're supposed to use a damp one, and it doesn't look like theirs was damp, so they totally butchered that one. It's kind of a shame to see a news channel do such a bad job on a two or three minute review. So next up, I'm gonna try the carpet test. Now my carpet isn't quite as large as theirs, it's not shag like theirs, but I think it'll be close enough demonstration. Look at this, look what I got here. Why are you like that? <laughs> All right, the two videos I've been looking at are a little bit different. Vince doesn't put as much as the ShamWow in person video does, so I'm just gonna pour some soda on here and try to duplicate kind of what they both did. Both of them seem to use a two liter bottle that was flat, by the way. I'm using a can that's not flat. Got some on the side, that's okay too. Let it sit there for a second. All right, it's kind of soaked in now. I have a damp ShamWow. What Vince did was just place it on there for a second and then roll, flip it over and roll it up. Place it on there. He flipped it over and rolled it up like this. And that supposedly had 50% of the soda in there, let's see. I don't know if that's 50%. I still see soda down there, but let's try it. The uh, ShamWow person did not do that first part. He did this way where he pressed it down there. He was using his fingers like this. Okay, it does feel pretty dry compared to this side. There is a difference. That does feel drier. And I'm gonna flip it over and try the same thing again. Okay, it feels pretty dry. Now here's the thing, underneath, when Vince lifted it up, there was nothing on the bottom. There is some on the bottom here. There is some on the bottom. I was a little skeptical of that anyways. But I think the carpet itself feels pretty dry. As far as picking up underneath the carpet, I don't know about that. But otherwise, I think for carpet spills, it actually would work pretty well. This part does feel a little bit damp still, by the way. Let me see if I can get more out. I'm gonna press even harder. It's 
still a little bit damp, and it feels very dry. So I, I don't think that you're going to get the bottom of the carpet cleaned up. I think it does pretty well as far as carpet goes. Now this video could certainly go on forever and ever, but I'm going to give you a little montage of some of the things I did around the house with the ShamWow, and then I'll give you my final conclusion on the product. So let's start the montage now. All right, so when I decided I was gonna get my ShamWow, I was talking to my friend Melinda in North Dakota. Hi, Melinda. She said one thing that the instructions said is do not dry them. That was the one thing that she said not to do. So what did I do? I decided to dry one and see how it came out. Check this out. These are brand new ShamWows, the small and the large. They look pristine, they look very pretty. These ShamWows were washed but not dried. Uh, they're the same size as before. I just laid them flat. They still look pretty good. Now here's one that I dried and I measured it at least it lost a couple inches in both directions so it definitely shrinks in size. I haven't tried it out for absorbency but I wanted to see how much it shrank. It didn't shrink as much as I thought but the instructions definitely say not to dry them. So if you do, you'll have a smaller ShamWow you start off with. One thing I wanted to point out is that the small ShamWow and also the nano towels, these are kind of advertised as a paper towel replacement, not really for absorbing water, but just general cleaning, throw them in the wash machine and keep going with them. All right, I really could have done any kind of test, any variations of it, but I wanted to kind of stick mainly with what those two videos, the ShamWow in person and the commercial showed. So that's why I picked the test that I chose for this video. It really could have been anything, but that's what I picked. All right, so that's all I've got. This was the ShamWow. I, actually, I'm pretty happy with it. As far as the advertising hype goes, I think the only test that didn't really work was the bottom of the carpet. It didn't really pick up like they showed in the commercial. Everything else, I think, performed exactly as uh, they kind of implied in the advertising. So I'm actually happy with it. Now, will it be a magical solution? Probably not, but is it a really absorbent towel? Yes, it is. It's been around for a while. I want to know what you think if you've used this and if your experience differed from mine. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more As Seen On TV product reviews from me, James White, for Freakin' Reviews. Bailey, get back. Get back. Get back, Bailey. Get back, Bailey. Get back, Bailey. Bailey, get back. Here, where's your ball? Get your ball. Look at your ball. Here, you get it. Jeez. That dog. So I'm gonna try the carpet test myself. Now the piece of carpet I found isn't quite as large as theirs. Bailey. <laughs>